What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Black Gaming Channel. My name is AJ Gills. How y'all doing? We are back with the council. We will be starting episode five. Actually, let me check. I'm not entirely sure what episode five is. I guess I won't be able to find out what episode five is called. Uh, but we're starting episode five with this one. Last uh, episode, we found out that Louis actually a demon. Sarah was not his real mother. Uh, Emily shot Sarah, and Emily is either having a nervous breakdown, going insane, or is also a demon mixed with one or two. Not entirely sure what's going on with that. But I hope we're going to find out more as we continue the council with the fifth and final episode. From now on, whenever a human speaks to you, you will be able to read their current thoughts. You take care of getting the lands. It's imperative. I'll take care of preparing our departure. She... she has to pay for all the harm she's done to me. Meanwhile... God damn it, home. Guard against any last minute surprises. I know my brother well. Never prepares for war. If Every time I look at that face. Finding out that I'm a demon makes no difference. I haven't come all this way just to fail so close to the goal. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. Why does Piaget have like one really wide eye and one not wide eye? That's creepy. Keep your guard up. Everyone is rather on edge right now. Don't make me your competition, Duriche. You are no match. Well, I believe we're about to start the final vote of Try this. Yourself. It's all already in there. Okay, then. We're uh, going into the final vote of this conference to decide. I believe it's the Louisiana Purchase. I believe is what's uh, up for grabs right now. Check. Okay, that makes sense. Dear friends, I'd like to thank you for your continued trust and confidence. I admit that during these past few days, there has been much upheaval. I understand you have all been affected by this. Nevertheless, the world doesn't stop turning, and we are in fact on the verge of reshaping the modern world. That is what we are all here for, my lord. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Monsieur Bonaparte. Now you all know what we have to do. I cannot warn you strongly enough. If one of Sir Gregory's guests asks to speak with you, remain on your guard. It is highly likely that he will try to rally as many supporters to his cause as he can. Now, please, go and get some rest before the conference begins, which won't be long now. Louis, stay with me a moment, won't you? I'll what more demon teaching? In a certain matter. Yes, of course. What's the matter? Louis, you are the only one here who I totally trust. It is very likely that Gregory will take possession of some of the members of our team. I shall keep them in check over the next few hours. However, I'll need you to... How can I say this? To persuade the members of Gregory's group. Manipulate. What do you mean by that exactly? You'll have free reign, my son. Persuade all of them. Use every possible means imaginable. But... No physical violence. Let's be very, very clear about that. You must bring them all over to our side. One after the other. And what if I fail? I have faith in you, my son. Great faith. That notwithstanding, should any of them resist, we'll decide what to do afterwards. Now go, and come back and see me once you've finished. I'll be off then. I'm trying to remember who was on whose side. All right, well, we can't really equip any manuscripts because we've well, used everything. Uh, we have no free points. We can read thoughts. Do Yep, I think we're actually good. Okay, I was hearing a weird sound there. It's freaking me out. Okay, so Giuseppe, George, Johan... Godoy and Emily. This is going to be fun. 
And again, this is something I was going on about in the last one. It, it really, it's getting back to what I think this game did so well, which was the dialogue in the in the kind of the conversational battles that it somehow found a way to make conversational skills into an RPG and then delivered it in this like sort of narrative experience. I, I absolutely loved it. I, I love the concept. I, I've really been digging the game. It was just kind of the episodes two and three, in my opinion, just dragged because it was all puzzle. It was all overly confusing puzzles, it, uh, ones that I still can't figure out wh how the answer was what it was. You know, not a lot of uh, conversing, not a lot of moving along the main plot line. But then in episode four, like near the middle, it goes, oh, here's this demon stuff. And, you know, we're really getting into the to the meat. I think that stuff should have been pushed a lot. Oh, great. She's nuts. I forgot. The conference soon upon us. I, I would have thought that you are absolutely right. I wanted to wait a bit before talking to you. But as you are here, I've been thinking about what we shall do once we get back. How to arrange the house, prepare the rooms for the children. Yes, I want three, and the first one will be a boy. We shall call him Louis, like his father. I'm... Oh, man, this I'm is really so afraid now. He's drifting deeper into madness. Just too bad she got what she deserves. Let's try and help her. I, I like the character. Weaver like this. Let okay, that's what's friendly do. Get one point in etiquette. Manipulated for the sake of this cursed conference, Mortimer has to help her. Please excuse me, madam. Just remembered, I've got something to do. Come back quickly, my love. I I'll see you later, madam. I must warn Mortimer that she can't go on like this. I'm sure he can help her. So what uh, would? Okay, golden elixir, great. Can I go up and talk to Mortimer? I, I'll, I'll finish what I was saying. But like I was saying, it's just... And I, again, I put this in like the last two... I think I said this in the last two videos. That this game had a really cool concept. I really have been enjoying what we've been doing here. I just think that... almost It's almost as if episodes two and three were a waste that things didn't really get real until four you know one was kind of the was the initial setup two and three was just building on the setup and it hit in four which i i don't know i think that we should have had something in two and three that kept pushing i think it was a little off in my opinion so go and take care of your mission and come back and see me once you've accomplished it louis Oh, God. Oh, could I have, like, steered into the skid with her and, like, tried to make her not crazy? Eh, oh well. No, not, no, because we're trying to tell Mortimer to make her not crazy. What I was about to say was, uh, we should, we could have manipulated her into voting the way we wanted her to vote. There we go. Saved it. Okay, and there's crazy lady. And good boy. For some reason, I thought von Volner was on Duke Manuel Mortimer's side. I am surprised you dare speak to me. Come now, my lord Duke. I hope Sir Gregory will make you sorry for betraying him. In politics, one must know how to play the ball on the bounce. This might be hard for you to believe, but things have changed. What are you implying? I've simply found out more. About what? About the project. And also about the parties present. It was enough to convince me. I... All right. What have you found, then? Actually, yeah, I want to figure out what is Godoy. What are his weaknesses? I really should check this stuff out beforehand. Okay, he's immune to etiquette and he's vulnerable to manipulation. Hasten to join us. Right. Well, you have piqued my curiosity, Dorishe. I have a funny feeling you're hiding something from me. 
Of course not. Did you choose to follow Lord Mortimer? You really shouldn't trust home. Look at him. He's playing at a lot of different. Ah, uh, did I hit a? I hit an immunity. Shit. Really? He's allied to England. Come on. You're not saying that Spain holds England in its heart, are you? You never stop fighting each other for control of the seas. Monsieur de Richet, if I may offer you a word of advice, leave politics to those who do it professionally. Now, have we gone through all your arguments? No, really. Is that all you have? God damn, I suck. Right. Let us save time and stop the charade, Louis. In all friendship, I must say. This conference has allowed you to learn from the very best, but you're going too fast in my opinion. Damn it. No good. I haven't persuaded him. You ought to grant me one more minute. That's enough, Luis. I have already stretched Sir Gregory's recommendations by granting you these few minutes. Enough is enough. I bid you good luck, I bid you good evening, and may the best man win. <sighs> yes, we shall see. Well, crap. Me. At this rate, Louisiana is likely to remain Spanish forever. Of course, that of course that's what I get. I run into a, I walk right into a, a right. A, words are hard. I walk right into an immunity. I god damn! I can't believe I did that. Let's see if there's anything in my room. Don't know why there would be, but Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. A ruble. Yeah, that's why I checked the room. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Oh, that'll work. That'll probably help us out. Yeah, Monsieur de Richet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's head back out. God damn. Can't believe I screwed that. I, I walked right into that invulnerability. I was thinking, man, politics probably won't work on this guy. Just kind of knowing who he is. Okay, real quick before we talk to Giuseppe. I want to get this one at least. Okay. He's vulnerable to manipulation. But he's immune to logic. And well, Okay, yeah, it makes sense. He's he's a priest. Would you have a moment? So erudition and all that yeah, would, I guess, I, sure. yeah. I come just as a friend. No matter how I look at it, between my affection for you and the conference, I can't hide my disappointment that you're changing sides, Louis. With all due respect to Lord Mortimer, how could you follow him like this? I understand your disappointment, Your Eminence, but I have good reason to. Uh, it's got nothing to do with it, but... You... You didn't come and see me in my room a few hours ago, did you? Hmm. Does he remember anything? Uh, oh no. No, I I'm sorry. Y you must be mistaken. I've been speaking to Lord Mortimer in his study. I... Uh, I must have dreamed it then. It seems so real. Don't blame yourself, Your Eminence. We're all exhausted. I can assure you of that. That's very kind of you, Louis. I don't know what's wrong with me at the moment, but... I feel rather fragile. <sighs> Poor man seems terrified. It'd be a good idea if I reassured him a little before trying to get him to change sides. Oh, what did you want from me exactly? Yeah, I'm not going with erudition. Tell me, Your Eminence, do you know anything about symbols and dreams? Calm, Louis. The scriptural law rejects all divination through dreams. Again, I, I gotta see what this is. Was that was well read? Uh, why can't these go in order? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't know. Of course, I, I wasn't suggesting that these visions were messages from God, Your Eminence. But it might be that when we rest... Our mind imagines situations based on things that left an impression on it. Take your dream, for example. What did it speak of? I'm not sure that I can speak about it. Don't worry, Your Eminence. There's no one else here but me. 
Well, I was right here, in my room, and you came to see me. Then it all became confusing. I know that Mr. Von Volner was here too. He... No, no, it's not possible. What was he doing? He tried to harm you. Damn it. He does have memories of what happened. Your Eminence, you have no reason to worry, because I'm right here in front of you, in perfect health. Yes. Yes, you are right. You're probably just a little tired, overworked, that's all. That's it. Just a bit tired. Anyway, thank you for listening. Please excuse me, Louis, if I've wasted your time. You came to see me about the conference, I imagine. And here I go rambling on about uh, I don't know what nonsense. No need to apologize, Your Eminence. Think nothing of it. <sighs> what did you want to speak to me about? Right. It's now or never to get him to change his mind. He's... I believe he's weak to manipulation. Yep. I must admit that opposing you pains me. And it pains Lord Mortimer a great deal as well. I can well imagine. You should know that I am not happy about it either. He's an upright man who, like yourself, spends his time helping others and doing good around him. But you know that better than I do. I owe him a lot, you know. Your Eminence, if you feel you owe him something, let me tell you it's not too late to show it. It's thanks to him that I took the Holy Orders. We met when I was very young, here, on this island. After our encounter, I had the firm conviction that my duty was to take the Holy Orders. Uh, to tell you the truth, I owe him everything. Have you ever thanked him for it? Never. You must find me ungrateful. I would never dare, Your Eminence. <sighs> you came to persuade me to join him, didn't you? I don't have that power, but I do sincerely <laughs> believe that Lord Mortimer serves a righteous cause. You are an angel who brings peace to the soul, my son. Listen to your heart, Your Eminence. You are right. To hell with all this political manipulation. I... Yes, I must listen to my conscience. Yes, listen to that little voice in your head. What does it say? Yes, Louis. I will vote for William's project. I will follow you. I'm sure it will mean a great deal to Lord Mortimer, Your Eminence. Once again. Thank you, my son. Please leave me now. I must pray. Of course, Your Eminence. I'll be on my way now. You know, I, I'm wondering with this uh, mind-reading thing, what does it allow me to... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I keep stammering here. It shouldn't be anything new, though. If you've listened to me before... But with this mind reading thing, it, will it give us maybe a hint to what's a vulnerability and invulnerability? We never got a clear explanation of what exactly it's supposed to help us with. I mean, we know that it's supposed to give us insight to what the person is thinking at that very moment, but what exactly does it give us that insight in? Or what is what exactly is that insight supposed to tell us is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, George, before we talk, I'm just going to ransack your room a little bit. Don't worry about it. So out to the balcony. Yeah, I don't need to go out there. Do, 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 do. All right. Georgie, where are you? She's immune to manipulation. That's all we know about George. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Awesome. Mr. President, I was looking for you. Well, and I you, would you believe it? What on earth are you up to now? You make me change my mind for the vote of the conference, and then you proceed to change sides yourself? Yes, I, I do understand you being surprised. I'm sorry, but there have been new developments since then. What are you talking about? In fact, you were right. I've been thinking about it since our discussion, and I've been able to talk to the other guests. You should have listened to me, you young fool. You were absolutely right. Please accept my humblest apologies, sir. All right, all right. 
I have my share of responsibility too. After all, I didn't have to listen to you. Listen, I must apologize once again, but it's not too late. Maria, listen. This is the last time you'll be dragging me into any such schemes. You realize you are playing with the destinies of nations. For goodness sake, grow up, young man. You're right, Mr. President. I cannot apologize enough. Please come back to us. Of course I shall come back. But from now on, please keep me out of your shenanigans. I promise, Mr. President. And try to stick with one opinion, at least until the vote. You have my word. Good. Now leave me. I have work to do. Uh, of course, Georgie. All right. Well, that was fairly easy. We got plenty of points before we go after Von Volner. The only thing we know about him is that he is immune to occultism. Though I wouldn't be surprised if that would come, up, you know, if uh, if occultism would come up in this persuasion. As I now hunt for Volna's room. Nope, nope, I went backwards. I thought I passed that door before, and I had. This way, go here, take a left. Do, 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 do. Jeez, I love and hate running around this place. I believe. There you go. Von Volner. Is he in here? Does not seem that he is in here. Oh boy, we get to go hunt him down. Hmm. Kind of wish we could uh, get some sort of clue on where he is. Instead, we gotta search the freaking mansion. Hmm. Nope, full up in Devil's Thorn. Can't go that way. Let's take us out into the main, uh, the main foyer, the main room that we walk in. You know, the one with the giant bronze, uh, bronze Zeus. Nope, it takes us back here. And God, so much Devil's Thorn. The library that I still think is extremely creepy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that? Damn it! Thought that was Carmelite water. I almost got excited. I almost got excited. I need to talk to Von Volner. Blasted! Home is with him. Gentlemen, Louis. I'm sorry, but we are waiting for Duke Manuel. If you wouldn't mind leaving us, I should think you already have enough to do as it is. Very well. I didn't mean to disturb you. Just my luck. He'll only talk to the Duke. Right. We'll have to fix that. Oh, are we going to go mind control Godoy? I am all for this. I still wish I could have persuaded Godoy earlier. I'm still a little peeved at myself for that. 
I mean, I didn't even need to mind read him. I didn't need to do any of that crap. I should have been able to figure out just based on his personality. I'm, politics, of course, wouldn't work on that guy. Yes, monsieur. Is there something you wanted to add? Concentrate. I need you to listen carefully to what I have to say, Godoy. I am all ears. Louis, push. I need you to do me a little favor. It's working. That's it, Louis. Get in his head. Oh, dear. What is happening to me? I, I do not feel very well. I need your help, sir. Get in his head. Oh, perfect. Thank you, monsieur. I'm sure I'll know how to take full advantage of your vessel. Now that I am unwell. Will home be able to tell that we're Godoy? I mean, that would make sense. Duke Manuel, here you are at last. Sir Gregory, Mr. Von Volner. Thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I'll leave you with Johan a while. I still have a few things to settle. I shan't be long. See you later. Okay, there we go. So if he oh, leaves, all right. all right. All right. That answers my question. I'm warming myself up. I had the misfortune well, to step out. Well, not answer, but you know, we wouldn't have to worry about it. I wonder what he was doing outside. Mr. Von Volner, I wanted to speak to you. I'd like to make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm all ears. Now, we don't have much time, so here it is. You will vote for Mortimer. What a strange idea, Godoy. You are being ridiculous. Tell me now, why would I do that? Okay, so... Damn, traitor is about to drop us. Louisiana is Spanish. Consequently, I am best placed to know what to do with it. It's turning into a personal stake between Gregory and William. Honestly, would you like it if someone told you what to do with Royal Prussia and Greater Poland? Well, it depends. No, don't try smoothing things over. You are a statesman. You know what I mean. Today, Spain is weighed down by Louisiana, a source of epidemics, insurrections. It prevents us from concentrating on exploiting the wealth in the Western territories. And I have to let Gregory decide? I understand your point of view. But as far as I'm concerned, I would rather be honest. You are wasting your time, Duke Manuel. You know nothing about me, and your attempts to manipulate me have no effect. You behave as though we were close. Yet ever since you arrived, you've only been interested in your own little self. Don't say that, Johan. We may not be friends, but we are allies. Is that so? And what do you know about me, exactly? Uh, yeah, you found Al-Azif. You are loyal and discreet. Just look at how you managed to get your hands on Al-Azif or Gregory. But how? Well, I'm more attentive than you seem to think. The fact remains, I was able to admire your expertise. There wasn't a great deal to it, in actual fact. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call him modest. I don't know whether or not Gregory realizes how lucky he is to have you in his ranks, but for my part, I know a great man when I see one. I thank you, Duke Manuel. But, uh, tell me, why do you want to follow Mortimer all of a sudden? Mortimer is planning something. We don't know everything. He must have something up his sleeve to be so confident. Ah, really? And yeah. What do you think that might be? Haha. -ha. All of this is just a show. He has contacted all those we represent. What do you mean? That everything is already decided in higher spheres. William Fred. So I gotta check out what learn it is. One point in the sciences. And uh where is he? I always lose him. Okay, so we have everything for Volner. King of Spain, the Pope, William Pitt. I don't understand. Lord Mortimer has invited those who work in the wings of power to take a hand in swaying the decisions of those who actually hold it. Everything is already played out. He has already won. 
H how is this possible? We've all underestimated him. He's fooled us. We're done for. Look, it all hinges on the next few hours, Johan. Look, I hear everything you're saying, but there is no chance that Mortimer can make us all change sides. That is why Sir Gregory can but win. You understand? Think again. It's already too late. <laughs> now, you're the last one left. Your loyalty toward Gregory is honorable, but no longer makes any sense. If you don't change your mind, you'll be venturing into dangerous waters for no valid reason. Unless it's to win. Yes, but at what price? Think of all those who... who will be hostile toward you afterwards. Just think about it rationally, I mean it. Prussia has nothing directly at stake, so why put your position or your life in the balance? I... I hear you. Honestly, betraying Gregory is... Well, it's... it's unthinkable. Unless I simply don't have any choice. Yes, he's finally cracked. Thank you for warning me. You're welcome. There is nothing more natural between allies. I did what I could. Now, it's up to you. As for me, I'll vote for Mortimer. Good luck to you. Good luck. All right, I was able to get through that and pretty much... Honestly, I think I came out ahead in effort points. I lose too much time. So yeah, I think, like I said, I think I came out ahead in this one in terms of effort points. I think that was a, that was a pretty good run. My Lord Duke. Have a nice rest. Are we... Nope, not uh, immediately getting transported, so we have to go see, uh, see Mortimer. Okay, so let's run things down here. So we've got everyone except Godoy. We weren't able to persuade him, and I honestly do not know Emily's status at the moment. Mostly because she's just completely insane. Uh, do, 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 do. Am I just running? Nope, nope, nope. I'm making okay. I'm doing. I'm doing this right. I was afraid I was running, running the wrong way around. I feel like there was an easier way to say that, but I can't come up with it right now. Alright, let's go see Mortimer without falling in the giant death hole. Louis, there you are. Well, tell me, how did it go? I did my best. Whom did you manage to persuade? Father, before we start, I have a favor to ask of you. Do you really think this is the right time to ask? Yes. It might give you the impression that I'm forcing you, but... I'm listening. It's about Emma. Help her, please. What do you mean? She's in a bad way, Father. She's your daughter. We need to get her off the island as soon as possible. Her state of health concerns me greatly, and she needs to be cared for. She's losing her mind. Hmm. You are aware that she's Sir Gregory's guest, not mine. I'm not the only one who decides these things. I'm sure you could persuade him. All right. I'll have a word with him. Now, tell me who you've managed to bring over to us. You can count on Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, perfect. I had a feeling old Giuseppe would be able to follow me. President Washington is going to side with you after all. Ah, I was sure that was all a misunderstanding. Very Or my meddling, but whatever. You can count on Mr. Von Volner. Really? Well, I must admit, I'm stunned at your success there. I truly believed he would never betray Gregory. Listen, Louis. Congratulations for what you've just accomplished. It's not perfect. But it's still quite a feat. But not enough, given that the vote must be approved unanimously. We're going to lose. Don't worry. I couldn't have been any more persuasive myself. You've done the hardest part. I'll take over now. Don't worry. Assemble everyone in the conference room. Meet me there and let's get it over with. All right, let's go. Unless we're... 
No, see, seeing that this chapter is called right. the final vote, yeah, there it would make sense that we actually go to the conference. Close this conference. I would first of all like to thank you all for making the time to be here and lend your services. Gregory, I, I believe I may speak for both of us when I say that we are honored by your presence here. You, you are perfectly right to do so, William. Thank you for putting your faith in us and for coming here to participate in this conference. Thank you for helping us to make the best decisions. And I especially want to thank you, William, for, for perfectly hosting us at your home during these past several days. I'm not sure all the guests would agree to that. In any case, Holm doesn't seem to be himself. Duchess Hillsborough will also not be voting. The poor woman has suffered a lot of upheaval lately. As she was feeling quite poorly, she apologizes, but she preferred to return to the continent. The Duchess? I hope it's nothing serious. Don't worry, Mr. President. I had someone escort her. The Duchess simply needs rest, and now she is in good hands. I must say, Sir Gregory, you are beset by bad luck. Indeed. One would think that I am hounded by ill fortune. Good. I think we can begin. You will vote in turn on the question that interests us today. Are you for or against the transfer of ownership of Louisiana from Spain to France? Monsieur de Richet? Now we're voting for. I vote for. Duke Manuel? Against. Again, I gotta see this. Oh, cool, we gained one, one in politics. Your Eminence? Four. But I... Gregory, please. Monsieur Napoleon? Four. Mr. Von Volner? Four. What? Gregory. But... Yeah, feel the floor Robert. coming out from below you, dude. You know the rules, brother. President Washington? Four. The votes are now cast. The project is therefore approved. Dirty traitor! Mr. Godoy. Soon you will be in charge of passing the territory of Louisiana over to France. It will be done. What have you done? Me? Nothing, dear brother. What have you done to me? What have I done? Nothing, Gregory. You did it yourself. A word of advice. In the future, oh, that is, if you have one, don't drink someone else's cup of tea without checking what's in it. Father, what happened? Sir Gregory, what's the matter? William, what have you done? Not now. You... You are mad, William! Father will... Father will punish you for, for this! He like, I don't want... Probably try. I don't want to be a stickler here, but didn't we need a unanimous vote? I... But... Eh, uh, whatever. Die! No, you cannot die. You are, however, losing all sense of reason, as well as all your special abilities. What? What? What did I drink? Can't you guess? There are but few things that can have such an effect on such as we. You would know that if you ever ventured even a little way off of Father's beaten track. I... Revenge! Oh, no, my dear Gregory. You will not be taking any revenge. You will die stupidly, alone, enclosed in that rather withered body. Help! Help me! After several centuries Help! of near absolute power, here you find yourself on your hands and knees, hoping in vain that someone is going to help you. Tell me. What does that feel like? Never happened to me. Can't be good. You cannot leave your body. You cannot project yourself elsewhere. You cannot even contact father. Go ahead, try. But you are my brother. So I ask you to remember that all this is your own fault. And I want you to understand I get absolutely no pleasure out of it. Well, very little. <laughs> you swine! A new order is born today, brother. Enough of father's hegemony. 
After all these years of servitude, I can finally stand up and oppose it. You chose to serve him, whatever his excesses. Now it's up to you to face the consequences of that choice. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> I am stronger than, than you! Okay, I don't know why noticing that Volner was coming from outside helps, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we failed to convince Godoy and Hillsborough. Well, technically, we didn't fail to uh, convince Hillsborough. We just kind of sent her away. Uh, either way, well, guys, I think we'll uh, call this one here. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment, if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Please stay tuned for more next time, but until then, my name's AJ Gales, the Sunfire Game Channel. I'm out.